Hey everybody, I'm DJ from Eternal Visuals and today I'm trying something new. I wanna show you how to recreate the Hulu logo. I've been seeing it everywhere lately, but I also wanted to show people that it can be easily replicated under five minutes with no plugins. So let's not waste any time, let's get into it. In order to pull this off, you need a single image in a free font. Defont.com has a font called Kimberly that has the lowercase style that we need. And in order to get that Technicolor bleed effect, we want to visit our friends at unsplash.com and search for a vibrant gradient. As always, both of these items are linked in the description. Once everything is downloaded, installed, and put into proper folders, we can head into After Effects. Create a new project, title it Hulu Motion 2023. Then create a new comp, title it Hulu Motion. We're going to stick to 1920 by 1080 for our resolution, 2997 as our frame rate, and our classic 10 second timeline. First thing we need is a green solid. Grab your shape tool and cover the entire composition. Open the color window and use this hex code for our, that famous Hulu green. Then right click our solid layer and create a pre-comp. Title it green solid. Now we are going to grab our shape tool and create a mass slightly bigger than the composition. Then with your green solid comp selected, hit M on your keyboard to open your mask settings. Hit the down arrow and you'll see a mask tab, mask path and mask feather. First, you need to open the mask tab and change it from add to subtract. Bring the playhead on your timeline to frame 20 and make a mask feather keyframe at zero. Drag it to one second and 15 frames and adjust the feathering to 1000. Then move it two frames and bring the feathering to 500. Then go to two seconds, five frames and bring the feathering to zero. We can leave this alone for now. Let's bring in our vibrant image. Go to file, import files and find your unsplashed image. Drag it on top of your timeline and scale it down to 27% by hitting S on your keyboard. Now right click the image and create a new pre-comp. Color it color gradient. We're going to create the exact same effect like we did on the green solid, but with just a little bit more movement. Grab your shape tool and drag your mask over the comp with a lot of space in between. Open your mask settings with M and create a mask feather keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Head to one second and 15 frames and make another keyframe at 300. Then move two frames and bring the feathering down to zero. Add easy out to the beginning keyframe, easy ease to the middle keyframes, and easy in to the closing keyframes by right clicking. Head over to your effects tab and search for hue and saturation. Drag this onto your layer. At frame zero, create a channel range keyframe at 200. Then move one second 20 frames and move the channel range to 350. Go back to your effects tab and look for levels. Drag it onto the same layer and crush the highlights to the point where the mid and the black arrows are all touching each other. Now the first half of our background animation is done. Let's move on to the text. Select your type tool and type your desired text. I'm going to stick with motion. Select the Kimberly font and make the font size to 160. Click the color box and use the same green hex code from our green solid. Open the scale and create a keyframe at 1 second 15 frames. Move the playhead forward 1 second and adjust the scale to 85%. Apply, ease in, and out. To make our text appear one character at a time, hit the down arrow on your text layer. Click the animate play button and select opacity. Expand the range selector and make sure that your opacity and your start sliders are at zero and your end slider is at 100%. Bring the playhead to 1 second 15 frames and make a start keyframe. Move forward 10 frames and bring the start to 100. Now each character should appear in order after the other. Let's elevate this entrance even more with a light ray effect. Head over to your effects tab and search for CC radial fast blur. Drag this onto your text layer. Make sure your playhead is at one second 15. Bring the blur amount to 75 and make a keyframe. Move the playhead two seconds and bring the amount to zero. Ease in and out. To give it that afterglow, Duplicate your text layer by hitting Command or Control C to copy and Command or Control V to paste, whether you're on Mac or Windows. Delete the radial fast blur and search for fast box blur in the effects tab. Add this to your new text layer and crank the blur radius to 120. Bring your playhead to two seconds and make an opacity keyframe by hitting T on your keyboard. Then move to two seconds and 20 frames and bring the opacity to zero. And we have our entrance completed. Let's begin the second half of our text animation. Select your main text, and at the three second mark, create a new scale keyframe at 85%. Move the playhead to 320 and increase the scale to 95%. Ease in and out. Now go back to the animate tab and select tracking. 
move your playhead to 4 seconds and 15 frames and make a tracking amount keyframe. Then move to 5 seconds 10 frames and increase the tracking by 10. Head back to 415 and make a new opacity keyframe. Bring it to 510 and the opacity to 0. And our text is finished. All right, now it's time for our box animation. Create a new solid with the famous Hulu green one more time. Right click and pre-comp. Title it Green Box Warp. Bring the opacity down to 50% temporarily so that you're able to see your text. Select the rounded rectangle tool and make a border mask around your text. Then create another rounded mask slightly larger. Under the mask settings, set the first mask to subtract and the second mask to intersect. At three seconds and five frames, create keyframes on both masks. Move the playhead to 322 on your timeline and adjust the mask to scale with the text and increase the inside mask to create a thin green border. Now move the playhead to 415 and increase the outside mask to fill the entire composition. For mask two, right click your keyframes and use easy out, easy ease, and ease in. Go back to 404 on your timeline and make a copy of your second keyframe from your first mask. Then jump to 5 seconds and scale the mask to fill the entire comp. Easy out, easy ease, and easy in. To smooth out these actions, go into your graph editor for both masks by selecting the keyframes and then clicking the graph editor icon. Then use the curve tools to smooth out the overall movement. Drag the green box layer start point to 3 seconds 5 frames for it to appear. One last touch to make the outro that much smoother. Select your bottom green solid and open your mask settings. Head to the point in the timeline where the green box has filled the entire comp. Create a mask feather keyframe at 0, then move forward 1 frame. Increase the feathering to 450. Then drag it to 5 seconds 15 frames and bring it down to 0. Easy in and out and adjust on the graph editor to your liking. And we're finished. I know there are a lot of specific keyframe instructions in this tutorial, but in order to match up with the timing of the logo, it was necessary. Hopefully you were able to still see how some of the major effects were done and you can add them to your tool belt. But hopefully you learned something today and look forward to seeing you in the next one.